Hello students. So today I'm doing class for class uh, 12 science. Uh, the topic is the matrix. In the last on online class also we were doing the same topic that is matrix. So this is the continuation plus. Okay. So exercise one matrix. Each question carries two marks. This is page number 133. So let us do question number one of question number five. So if A is equal to, here the matrix is given, this is uh, you know that this is of order 2 cross 3 matrix first row 2 0 minus 5 minus 3 4 5 and b is equal to uh, first row is 3 1 minus 1 and 4 5 0 this is also uh, 2 cross 3 matrix 2 rows and 3 columns then you have to prove that number a a cross b dash you know that dash means transpose of a matrix so you know the meaning of the transpose of a matrix a matrix is given uh, so how can you get the transpose of the matrix A the matrix A matrix which is rows or columns which is what we have to do rows by columns and columns which is rows by columns that is known as the transpose of the given matrix A so prove that number A A plus B dash dash means transpose of a given matrix is equal to A dash plus B dash and number B A minus B dash is equal to A dash minus B dash so uh, as a formula also you, you have to remember this formula right that is a plus b dash is equal to a dash plus b dash and a minus b dash is equal to a dash minus b dash that is also a formula right so you have to memorize this as a formula right that is a plus b dash is equal to a dash plus b dash and a minus b dash is equal to a dash minus b dash okay so now let us prove a and b so now let us prove number a you have to prove this a plus b dash is equal to a dash plus b dash so let us find out a plus b now okay so a plus b let us find out a plus b what is a out here it is 2 0 minus 5 and minus 3 4 7 plus what is b here now so what is b here in this case it is 3 1 minus 1 it is 3 1 minus 1 it is 3 1 minus 1 and 4 5 0 right so now which is equal to we have to add those two matrices so these two matrices can be added because they are of same order so if you add these two matrices their corresponding elements will be added that means 2 plus 3 that is 5 0 plus 1 1 minus 5 minus 1 minus 6 right and then minus 3 plus 4 that is 1 4 plus 5 that is 9 7 plus 0 that is 7 so this is your a plus b now you have to get the value of the left hand side that is you have to get the matrix a plus b dash so what is left hand side now here so lhs is equal to this is a plus b dash which is equal to so what is a plus b dash now this is the transpose of the matrix A plus B. So how can you get the matrix of, uh, how can you get the transpose of the matrix A plus B? You have to change rows into columns and columns into rows. So what do we get here? What is left hand side here? Now first row will be 5, 1. This 5, 1 is the first column. So 5, 1 is the first row here. Then 1, 9. Then 1, 9. And then minus 6, 7. Then this is minus 6, 7. Is it clear now? So this is your left hand side. That is A plus B dash. Okay. So now let us find out. Now let us find out A dash plus B dash. Okay. So now what is A dash? So A dash is equal to. You have to transpose this matrix A. That means rows are changed into, changed into columns and columns into rows. Now this 2 minus 3 is the first column. This becomes the first row. Next 0, 4. Then next minus 5, 7. This is your A dash. And what is B dash now? What is B dash here now? B dash means transpose of the matrix B. That means you have to change rows into columns and columns into rows for matrix B. That is this first column becomes the first row here, 3, 4. Second column 1, 5 becomes the second row here and minus 1, comma 0. Okay, so this is your A dash plus B dash. Now we have to add them. 
therefore a dash plus b dash is equal to what is a dash copy it what is a dash 2 minus 3 then 0 4 then minus 5 7 plus what is b dash in this case it is 3 4 it is 1 5 and minus 1 0 is that clear now so now we can add them which is equal to so these two matrices can be added because they are of same order and the corresponding elements should be added okay so it is 2 plus 3 that is 5 right minus 3 plus 4 that is 1 0 plus 1 is 1 4 plus 5 is 9 and minus 5 minus 1 is uh, minus 6 this is your plus sign right and then 7 plus 0 that is 7 so is that clear to all of you so we have proved uh, number e that is 5 1 number e is done so what will you write here therefore uh, these two left hand side is equal to right hand side this is your right hand side isn't it that is a dash plus b dash was your right hand side that is rhs is equal to a dash plus b dash okay so a plus b dash is this matrix and a dash plus b dash is this matrix isn't it that is a dash plus b dash is also 5 1 1 9 minus 6 7 these two matrices are equal so what can you write hence Hence, A plus B dash is equal to what? Is equal to what? It is A dash plus B dash. So it is proved. So is that clear now? So now what is to be proved in number B? A minus B dash is equal to A dash minus B dash. That is, uh, left hand side is equal to right hand side. So here also let us find out A minus B first, okay? So now left hand side, uh, so for left hand side we have to calculate first a minus b. So therefore a minus b is equal to, what is a here, what is a? It is 2, 0, minus 5 and minus 3, 4, 7. This is the second row, minus. What is b matrix here? It is 3, 1, minus 1 and it is 4, 5, 0 okay now since this is minus one here this is the scalar multiplication of the second matrix you have to multiply all these numbers by minus one okay so is equal to first matrix remains same minus three four seven right so minus this is actually minus one let us make it plus now this is minus one is the scalar multiplication of the second matrix so multiply all these elements by minus 1. So what do we get? Minus 3, minus 1, 1, next. Minus 4, minus 5, 0. Is that clear? So which is equal to, now we can add those two matrices. Okay. So 2 minus 3 is, 2 minus 3 is minus 1. 0 minus 1 is minus 1. Minus 5 plus 1 is minus 4. Right. Again, minus 3, minus 4, minus 7, 4, minus 5, minus 1, and 7 plus 0, that is 7. So, this is your A minus B. So, let us find out the value for left hand side. What is left hand side here? So, right now, LHS is equal to, so LHS is equal to A minus B dash. That means, you have to get the transpose of the matrix A minus B. So which is equal to, what is the transpose of the matrix A minus B? That is, uh, this uh, first column becomes a first row here. Second column becomes the second row out here. And third column becomes the third row out here. That is minus 4, 7. So this is your left hand side. So I think you have understood it. So now we have to find out the right hand side. What is the right hand side here? So let us write down the right hand side now. So therefore RHS, what is RHS here? A dash minus B dash. In the question, right hand side is given as A dash minus B dash. 
So now what is it as? That is transpose of the matrix A. You have to change rows into columns and columns into rows. And so now this first column becomes the first row. That is 2 minus 3. This second column becomes the second row. Third column becomes the third row. Minus 5, 7. Then minus sign. What is B dash? That is the transpose of the matrix B. Now this first column becomes the first row. 3, 4. Second column becomes the second row here. And third column becomes the third row out here. Okay. So is equal to. Now it is 2 minus 3. Uh, 0, 4, minus 5, 7. Now in this case, this is actually minus 1. So minus 1 is the scalar of multiplication of the second matrix. So make it plus and multiply all these elements by minus 1. So what do we get? Minus 3, minus 4, then it is minus 1, minus 5, then it is plus 1, 0. Is that clear? So now this is the addition of two matrices now. So now we can add those two matrices is equal to, now add those two matrices and it should be equal to the left hand side, okay? So two minus one, uh, sorry, uh, two minus three is minus one, minus three minus four is minus seven. Next zero minus one is minus one. And 4 minus 5 is minus 1. And next one is minus 5 plus 1. Minus 5 plus 1 is minus 4. And then 7 plus 0 is 7. So you should prove that this LHS is equal to RHS. Are these two left hand side and right hand side equal? So left hand side is this one minus 1, minus 7, minus 1, minus 1, minus 4, 7. And what is right hand side? It is minus 1, minus 7, minus 1, minus 1, minus 4, 7. So these two are equal. That means, therefore, we have proved that LHS is equal to RHS. So let us write down here. Therefore, LHS is equal to RHS. So it is proved. So now, in this case, if A and B matrices are given, then you should memorize uh, a formula out there that is what is the formula a plus b dash that is transpose of a plus b is equal to a dash plus b dash that is transpose of a matrix plus transpose of b matrix similarly a minus b dash is equal to a dash minus b dash that is transpose of the difference of the two matrices is equal to difference of their transpose that is a minus b uh, dash is equal to a dash minus b dash okay so you have to memorize it as a formula also. Is that clear to all of you? So you have to remember this formula also. So what is the formula here? Let us write down here. The formula is formula for the transpose of a matrix. Okay. That is number one is A plus B dash is equal to A dash plus B dash. That is, that is transpose of the sum of the two matrices is equal to sum of their transpose. Okay. And number two, A minus B dash is equal to A dash minus B dash. That means the transpose of the difference of two matrices is equal to difference of their transpose. Is that clear? So these are the formula. So now, I think I've understood it. So let's do the next question now. Now we'll do question number two of question number five. So if A is equal to, here the matrix is given, that is, Within third bracket, we have one, two, three elements are there. So this is only one column is given. So it is known as the column matrix. You have to write A, A dash. That is A into transpose of A. Okay. So therefore, A, A transpose. What is A out here? It is one, two, three. This is the first column. Only one column is there. Okay. So A dash means transpose of A. That means you have to change columns into rows. Right. So A dash here is the 
This is the row, one, two, three, only one row is there. If there is only one column, so A dash will be only one row. So this is known as the row matrix, and this is known as the column matrix. If you have only one column, that is known as the column matrix. If you have only one row, you, uh, that is known as row matrix. So is the matrix multiplication A, A dash possible? First of all, A is given here. You have to check the number of columns for A. And then A dash is given, you have to check the number of rows for A dash. If the number of columns of A is equal to number of rows of A dash, then only matrix multiplication is possible. Otherwise, it is not possible. Is that clear? So, uh, in the last online class, I told you that the matrix multiplication AB is possible if the number of columns of A is equal to number of rows of B. Otherwise, the matrix multiplication is not possible if number of columns of A not equal to number of rows of B. Is that clear now? So, in this case, for this first matrix A, number of columns is 1. For the second matrix A dash, number of rows is 1. That means they are equal. Number of columns of A is equal to number of rows of A dash. That means matrix multiplication is possible. Is that clear? So now how can you multiply them? Is equal to. Now you have to multiply row by column. Row by column. Okay. So 1 1s are 1. So it is 1 1s are 1. Right. Row by column. Only one element is there. For the first column there is only one element. So 1 1s are 1. Again you have to multiply first row by second column for the second element on in the first row there. For A dash. Okay. So now, multiply first row by first column, first row by second column, sorry. You have to multiply first row by second column, that is 1, 2, sir, 2. Okay, so this is the second element of the first row. Again, you have to multiply row by this third column, so 1 into 3, that is 3. Okay, so here this is the... Uh, First row of A dash. Next, again, our key goal for your second row, de, your second row, de, first column number one. So it is two ones are two only, right? So this is the first element of the second row. Again, you have to multiply row by second column. This second row by second column. That is that means two twos are four, right? So this is the second element of the uh, second row. Okay, you have to multiply row by column, second row by third column, that is 2, 3 is 6, right? Next, so these are the three elements in the second row. Next, third row, third row by first column, so 3 ones are 3 only. Okay, so this is the first element of the third row. Next, this third row should be multiplied by the second column, that is 3, 2 is 6. So this is the second element of the third row in A A dash. Now again, this third row should be multiplied by the third column. That is 3, 3 is a 9. This is 3, 3 is a 9. Okay. So this 9 is the third element of the third row. So this is your answer. This is your A A dash. So is that understood now? So we'll do the next problem now. Uh, now, we'll do question number 3 of number 5. So, if A is equal to 1, 2, 3, only one row is given. So, this is known as the row matrix. You have to write down A dot A transpose. Now, T is given. T is also a transpose. Okay. So, therefore, let us write A, A transpose is equal to. What is A out here? It is the column. It is the row matrix. Only one row is given. 1, 2, 3. Now, what is A transpose? You have to convert this row matrix into column matrix. What is the column matrix here? It is 1, 2, 3. Now, is it possible to find out the matrix multiplication for both A and A transpose? So now, first the matrix A is given. You have to check the number of columns here. 
What is the number of columns of A? 1, 2, 3. 3 columns. And for this second matrix A transpose, you have to check the number of rows here. So number of rows, how many rows are there? 3 rows. Okay. So here the number of columns of the matrix A is 3. And the number of rows of the matrix A transpose is 3. That means they are equal. So matrix multiplication is possible. So how can you multiply them? That is you have to multiply row by column. Row by column, right? So one ones are one, one ones are one. Okay, the corresponding elements should be multiplied. That is first element into first element one plus again second element into second element row by column, right? Second element into second column. That is two twos are four, and then three into three. That is third element into third element plus three threes are nine. So this is the only matrix out here. So this is the matrix. So which is equal to? So this matrix contains only one element. So what is the matrix here now? 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 plus 9 is 14. So matrix, within matrix there is only one element. So it is 14. So this is the answer. Now I think I have understood it. That is A dot A transpose is equal to within matrix and there is only 14. There is only one element. So that is your answer okay so now we'll do the next question now so now we will do the next question that is question number six if two matrices a and b of orders two cross m and 3 cross n respectively are conformable for the product AB of order B, pro, uh, B cross 4, find the values of n, comma, n and P. So in the question it is given that uh, there are two matrices A and B are given. So A is of order 2 cross n. A is of order 2 cross n means uh, in the matrix A there are two rows and there are two rows and n columns. And the matrix B is of order what? 3 cross N. That means the matrix B has 3 rows and N columns. And now uh, this matrix, these matrices A and B are conformable for the product AB. That means you can multiply these two matrices A and B. And, and what will be the order of the matrix AB? What will be the order of the matrix AB? The order of the matrix AB will be P cross 4. So you have to find out the values of M, N and P. Okay. Now in this case what is given here? The matrix the matrix A is of order is of order what? 2 cross N. Right. Next the matrix the matrix B is of order what? is of order what? It is 3 cross n. That means uh, the matrix A is of order 2 cross n means this first number will indicate the number of rows and the second number will indicate the number of columns. That means the matrix A has 2 rows and n columns and matrix B is of order 3 cross n. That means the matrix B has 3 rows and n columns. So it is given that the matrices both A and B are conformable for the matrix AB of order P cross 4. That means you can multiply these two matrices A and B. So when is the matrix multiplication A and B possible? If the number of columns of A is equal to number of rows of B. Is that clear? So you will write here the matrix AB conformable means Conformable means the matrix AB is possible. The matrix AB is possible, comma, if, if, what will you write? Number of columns of A, number of columns of A is equal to number of rows of B, number of rows of B, right? So, or, so what are the number of columns of A? Number of columns of A is M, that is M is equal to 
what are the number of rows of B? Number of rows of B is 3. That means we get M is equal to 3. Now since this M and 3 are equal, so what will be the order of the matrix AB? This M and 3 are equal, you can write 2 cross N. That means what is the order of the matrix AB? This is 2 cross N because this M and 3 are equal. So directly you can write down the order of the matrix AB from here. That is 2 cross N, right? So you write, therefore, the order of the matrix, the order of the matrix, the order of the matrix AB is equal to, what is it? Since this M and 3 are equal, that means the order of the matrix AB will be 2 cross N. It will be 2 cross N. So we get the order of the matrix AB as 2 cross N. That means number of rows of the matrix AB is 2 and the number of columns of the matrix AB is N. But by question, what is the order of the matrix AB? It is P cross 4. But the order of the matrix of the matrix AB is equal to what is it? It is given as P cross 4. Okay? But these two orders must be equal. Okay? So uh, from this calculation, we got the order of the matrix AB is equal to 2 cross N. But by question, the order of the matrix AB is equal to P cross 4. That means these two orders must be equal. Right? So these two orders must be equal. That means you can equate 2 with P. That is P is equal to 2. And you can equate uh, this 4 with N. That is N is equal to 4. That is N is equal to 4. So we got the values for M, N and P. So write down the answers. Therefore, M is equal to 3. Uh, N is equal to 4. And what is P is equal to? P is equal to 2. So these are the answers. So I think I've understood it. So we can copy it. We'll do the next question now. So now We'll do the next question, that is question number 7. If A and B are two matrices such that A plus B and AB are both defined, so that A and B are both square matrices of the same order. So in the question it is given that A and B are two matrices such that both A plus B and AB are defined. That means, uh, so A, B, A, A, B, A and B are such matrices that you can add those two matrices A and B, you can find out A plus B as well as you can multiply the two matrices AB, that means you can find out the matrix AB as well. That is, you can find out both A plus B matrix and AB matrix. So when is the addition of two matrices possible? If they have got the same order. If A and B have got the same order, then A plus B is possible. And when is the matrix multiplication AB possible? If the number of columns of the matrix A is equal to number of rows of the matrix B. Is that clear? So you have to show that now you have to show that A and B are both square matrices of the same order. Okay? So let us assume that the matrix A is of order M cross N. Okay? Let the matrix a b of order b of order m cross n now we have assumed that the matrix a is of order m cross n that means m rows and n columns okay now since a plus b is possible both a and b should have the same order isn't it so what what will be the order of the matrix b also it is m cross n now here you write since a plus B is possible or you may write confirmable so therefore the matrix B 
the matrix B is is also is also of order is also of order n cross n that means both the matrices a and b have must have the same order then only you can add those two matrices okay so a or b ko uh, order se ke baare mein equal ho gaya next or ko kya matlab sir ab is also defined that means you can uh, multiply these two matrices a and b so also the matrix also the matrix ab is possible now where is this matrix multiplication ab possible if the number of columns of a is equal to number of rows of b so therefore the number of columns of a the number of columns of a is equal to what number of rows of b is that clear so or so what are the number of columns of a what are the number of columns of a this is n is equal to what are the number of rows of b number of rows of b is n that means n is equal to n is that clear that is n is equal to n so what can you say about the matrix a now since here n is equal to n so you can write down that the matrix a is of order n cross n this is also n cross n right and now the matrix b is also of order what n cross n because n is equal to m here so n is equal to m you can put it here n is equal to m here also n is equal to m you can put it here so this matrix a is of order n cross n and this matrix b is also of order n cross n that means n cross n means both number of rows is equal to number of columns that means both a and b are matrices of the uh, of the same order and it has m cross n that means a and b are both square matrices of the same order okay now so now you can write here therefore the matrix a the matrix a is of order is of order m cross n that means is equal to m into just now we prove that n is equal to n so you can write here m m cross m that is m cross m means number of rows is equal to number of columns that means this is a square matrix okay again the matrix b again the matrix b is of order is of order m cross n Here also you can put the value for n. N is equal to what? M again. That is m cross n. That means the matrix B. In matrix B, number of columns is equal to number of rows. That is number of rows is equal to number of columns. That is the matrix B is also a square matrix. So what did we prove here? We prove that both the matrices A and B are of square matrices of the same order. Is that clear? So we can write here. Hence, they have the same order, and both are the square matrices, isn't it? So hence A and B. So we can write. Hence A and B are both are both what the square matrices because number of rows is equal to number of columns are both the square matrices are both the square matrices. because they are of the same order so square matrices of the same order square matrices of the same order proved is that clear now so here we get the matrix a is of order m cross n this is also the matrix b is of order n cross n in both the cases number of rows is equal to number of columns hence the two matrices a and b are square matrices of the same Order. So we have proved it. So let's do the next question now. So now we'll do the next question. That is question number eight. Before that, you should know this. Uh, uh, you should know this uh, sentence. That is. 
the matrix multiplication is commutative if AB is equal to BA. This is a slight of property, commutative property. Commutative property for matrix multiplication is that uh, if AB is equal to BA, for two matrices A and B, if AB is equal to BA, then the matrix multiplication is commutative. If you can prove that the matrix AB is equal to matrix BA, then the matrix multiplication is commutative. But in general, this matrix multiplication is not commutative. So in this question number 8, you have to give one example to show that matrix multiplication in general is not commutative. So let us give an example in general that matrix multiplication is not commutative. That means AB not equal to BA, right? So let us uh, take an example. Let A is equal to, suppose this is 1, 2, minus 1, minus 3, and B is equal to, and B is equal to, let us write 3, 4, minus 5, and 6, okay? So in this case, you have to prove that in general, the matrix multiplication is not commutative. That means AB not equal to BA, right? So let us find out the matrix multiplication AB. Is it, what is A out here? It is 1, 2, minus 1, minus 3. And what is B matrix? It is 3, 4, minus 5, 6. So you know that this matrix multiplication is possible. For the matrix A, number of columns is 2, and for the matrix B, number of rows is also 2. That is, number of columns of A is equal to number of rows of B. That means matrix multiplication is possible. Okay? So, how can you do the matrix multiplication here? Always row by column. You have to multiply row by column. Okay? Now, first row by first column. That means corresponding elements will be multiplied. 1, 3 is a 3. Next, 2 into minus 5, minus 10. First row by first column. Again, uh, what will be the second element here? First row by second column now. What will be the second element of first row? First row by second column. 1, 4 is 4 plus 2, 6 is 12. So this is your first row for the matrix AB. Next, in the second row, what will you write? You have to multiply second row by first column. That means the corresponding elements will be multiplied. That means you multiply first element into first element. What is minus 1 into 3? Minus 3. Minus 1 into 3, minus 3. Then minus 3 into minus 5, plus 15. Clear? Now what will be the second element of the second row? Again, you have to multiply second row by second column. First element into first element, that is minus 4. Then second element into second element, that is minus 18. Is it clear now? So which is equal to, what do we get? What do we get here? That is, it, it is minus 7, 3 minus 10 is minus 7, right? 4 plus 12 is, uh, that is your 16. Minus 3 plus 15 is 12. And minus 4 minus 18 is minus 22. So this is your matrix multiplication AB. Okay. So now let us find out BA. So therefore BA is equal to, let us write B first. What is B here? 3, 4. It is 3, 4 minus 5, 6. And what is A here? It is uh, 1, 2 and minus 1, minus 3. Now, since B is written first out here, you have to check the number of columns for the matrix B. So, how many columns are there in matrix B? Two columns. And for the second matrix A, you have to check the number of rows. How many rows are there? Two rows. That means, number of columns of B is your number of rows of A. That means, the matrix multiplication is possible here. So, here also you can multiply it row by column. First row by first column. Corresponding elements will be multiplied. 3 ones are 3, then 4 into minus 1, minus 4. That is your 3 minus 4, right? Again, what will be the second element of the first row? First row by second column, 3 twos are 6. This is minus 12, right? So this is your first row. So what will be the first element of the second row? 
This second row should be multiplied by the first column minus 5 into 1, minus 5, 6 into minus 1, minus 6. Clear? Okay? This second row should be multiplied by the second column. Corresponding elements should be multiplied. So minus 5 into 2, minus 10, and 6 into minus 3 is minus 18. Is it clear now? So let us check it once again. 3 1s are 3, 4 into minus 1, minus 4. 3 2s are 6, 4 into minus 3, minus 12. Minus 5 into 1, minus 5. This is minus 6. And it is minus 10. And this is minus 18. So which is equal to minus 1. This is minus 6, right? And this is minus 11. And this is minus 28. So are these two matrices equal? Is AB equal to BA? No, these are different matrices. So, therefore, AB not equal to BA. That means what can we write? In general, the matrix multiplication is not commutative. So, right now, therefore, in general, in general, comma, matrix multiplication is not commutative is not commutative so it is root so in general z e n e r a l general matrix multiplication is not commutative is it clear now so we'll do the next question now So now we'll do the next question that is question number 9-3. Evaluate. That is, this is the row matrix XYZ, only one row is given. Uh, this is the matrix of order 3 cross 3, 3 rows and 3 columns. First row AHZ, second row SBF, and third row is GFC. Into this is the column matrix that is XYZ. So let us multiply the first two matrices. So can you multiply these first two matrices? For the first matrix, how many columns are there? Three columns. And for the second matrix, how many rows are there? Three rows. That means number of columns of the first matrix is equal to number of rows of the second matrix. They are equal. So that means this matrix multiplication is possible. Okay? So you have to multiply first row by first column. So P is equal to. Now this is first row by first column. Row by column. In case of matrix multiplication, you should multiply row by column first. First row should be multiplied by the first column and the corresponding elements should be multiplied. x into a, ax plus, plus what? y into h or hy plus next z into z. z into z. So this is the first element of the first row. Again, this first row should be multiplied by the second column. This first row should be multiplied by the second column, but the corresponding elements should be multiplied. That is, so it will be hx, x into h, hx plus y into b, by plus z into f, that is fz. Is that clear? That is the second element of the first row. So now, again, this first row should be multiplied by the corresponding elements of the third column. That is x into a and x into z, zx plus y into f, fy plus z into c, that is cz. So in this case, uh, second row and third row will not be there because this uh, first matrix do not contain, this first matrix does not contain second row and third row. So this is the only uh, row matrix out here. Okay. As so a next, let us find out the third matrix, which is the uh, which is the column matrix, because only one column is given out here. So this is the column matrix. Okay. Now, can you multiply these two matrices now? Yes, you can multiply them because for the first matrix, how many columns are there? Three columns. 
And for the second matrix, how many rows are there? Three rows. That means number of columns is equal to number of rows. So that is matrix multiplication is possible out here. Okay. So is equal to. Now again, you have to multiply row by column, first row by first column only here. Okay. Because this first matrix uh, does not have second row, uh, second row and third row. And uh, this uh, second matrix doesn't have second column and third column. Okay, so now you have to multiply only first row by first column, but corresponding elements should be multiplied. So within third bracket, multiply first element and first element that is x into ax plus hy plus zz plus. Okay, multiply these two second elements. That is y into hx plus by plus fz. Again, multiply those third elements plus z into zx plus fy plus cz. So this is the this is the only matrix here, and this matrix contains only one element. So which is equal to within third bracket? Let us simplify it. Ax square plus hxy plus zzx zzx right next plus hxy plus next this is your x square plus hxy plus zzx plus uh, this is your hxy plus by square plus fyz plus next this is your zzx plus uh, this is f y z it is multiplied uh, here these three terms are multiplied by y now these three terms are also multiplied by z z z x plus f y z plus c z square plus this is your c z square is that clear now write on the square term first that is a x square plus then write on b y square b y square plus c z square then this cz square okay now let us write down these two terms hxy plus hxy plus 2hxy right then write down this fyz plus fyz plus 2fyz okay then write down these two terms zzx plus zzx what is that plus 2zzx that means third bracket is closed. So this is the matrix which contains only one element that is ax square plus by square plus cz square plus 2hxy plus 2fyz plus 2gzx. So this is the answer. So let us do the next question now. Now, number 12 is, if A is equal to, this is the second order matrix, 2 cross 2 matrix. In the first row 2 and 3 is given and in the second row 4 and 5 are given. You have to prove that A minus A transpose is a skewed symmetric matrix. So what is meant by skewed symmetric matrix? So in the previous online class, I told you about the skewed symmetric matrix. Okay. A matrix A is said to be a skew symmetric matrix if A transpose is equal to minus A. If A transpose is equal to minus A. Right? Yedi transpose of A is equal to minus A by the one. A is a skew symmetric matrix. But in this case, you have to prove that A minus A transpose is a skew symmetric matrix. That means what is to be proved? You have to prove that instead of a right a minus a trans a minus a transpose instead of a you write a minus a transpose whole transpose whole transpose should be equal to what should be equal to minus within bracket a minus a transpose right so actually the definition of skew symmetric matrix is that the matrix a is said to be a skew symmetric matrix if you can prove that a transpose is equal to minus A.
But in this particular problem, we have to prove that A minus A transpose is a skew symmetric matrix. Okay? So instead of, instead of this A, right? A minus A transpose. So this is A minus A transpose whole transpose is equal to what? Is equal to minus? What is A here? A minus A transpose. That means you have to prove this relation. If you can prove this relation, you can say that A minus A transpose is a skew symmetric matrix. Okay? So now let us prove it. So therefore, A is equal to what? It is 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? Let us find out this transpose, transpose of A. Therefore, A transpose. How can you get the transpose of A? You have to change rows into columns and columns into rows. Now this first column becomes the first row here. And this second column becomes the second row out here. That is your A transpose. Now let us find out A minus A transpose. Let us find out A minus A transpose. Okay. So what is A in this case? It is 2, 3, 4, 5. It is 2, 3, 4, 5 minus what is A transpose? It is 2, 4, 3, 5. Right. So here first row of first matrix is kept as it is that is 2 3 4 5 all right let us make it plus sign now this is minus 1 now all these elements should be multiplied by this scalar multiplication minus 1 all these elements 2 4 3 5 should be multiplied by the scalar minus 1 okay so here minus 1 is the scalar multiplication of this matrix so minus and multiply by the one, minus 2, minus 4, minus 3, minus 5. So I think I have understood it. So let us simplify it further. 2 minus 2, 0, 3 minus 4, minus 1, right? And 4 minus 3 is 1, and 5 minus 5 is 0. So this is your A minus A transpose. Now we have to prove this relation, right? That is A minus A transpose, whole transpose is equal to minus within bracket A minus A transpose. Okay. So now, so therefore, let us find out A minus A transpose, whole transpose. Okay. So A minus A transpose, whole transpose is equal to what? You have to transpose this matrix A minus A transpose again. A minus A transpose, whole transpose. That means you have to transpose this matrix A minus A transpose. So what do you get? 0 minus 1, 1, 0. It should be transposed, isn't it? Is it is equal to, what is it now? It is 0, then 1. This first column becomes the first row out here. And this second column becomes the second row out here. That is minus 1, 0. So is that clear to all of you? Now let us find out. Now let us find out next, we have to find out minus A minus A transpose, okay? So let us write here minus sign and multiply all the elements. Let us write here outside matrix minus and multiply all these elements of this matrix by minus, okay? So what do we get? 0 minus 1, this is 1 and this will be 0 which is equal to minus actually which ma which matrix is this one 0 minus 1 1 0 this one 0 minus 1 1 0 that is, this is the matrix that is minus within bracket you will get a minus a transpose so we have proved here a minus a transpose whole transpose is equal to minus within bracket a minus a transpose so right now since a minus A transpose whole transpose is equal to minus within bracket A minus A transpose. We have proved here A minus A transpose whole transpose is equal to minus within bracket A minus A transpose. That means what can we say about the matrix A minus A transpose? It is a skew symmetric matrix. So hence, hence A minus A transpose is a what is a skew symmetric matrix so it is proved so i think i understood it so you can copy it 
So let's uh, now we'll do. Now I'll give you the homework. Okay. So now, uh, these are your homework from the same exercise, exercise 1, page number 133, each question carries two marks, okay? So these are your homework, question number 9, 1. If A is equal to, uh, this is the column matrix 2, 3, minus 1, because only one column is given, and B is equal to 3, 5, 7, this is the row matrix, uh, here also one row is given, so you have to find out AB if it is possible. You know how to get the matrix AB, uh, the matrix multiplication AB is possible or not, you know how to find it, isn't it? So you can do line number one. And for number two, if A is equal to this, is also the column matrix one, two, three, four. Uh, sorry, it's not column matrix, this is the row matrix one, two, three, four. Only one row is given. And B is equal to uh, this is only one column is given, so this is the column matrix one, two, three, four. You have to find out AB and BA if it is possible. Okay, so you know that whether uh, AB and BA matrix multiplication is possible or not. Uh, you know it, how to uh, know that the matrix multiplication AB and BA both are possible. Okay, for AB, for the matrix uh, multiplication AB to be possible, you have to check the number of columns of A and the number of rows of B. They must be equal. And also for the matrix multiplication BA, so first of all B is written out here. You have to check the number of columns of the matrix B and the number of rows of the matrix A. They should be equal. That means the number of columns of B is equal to the number of rows of A. So if you can, uh, if you can say that if the number of columns of B is equal to the number of rows of A, then only the matrix multiplication BA is possible. So you can do it at home. Okay. So you can revise all the problems that we have done today. Uh, so in the next uh, class, we'll do more problems. Okay. So this much is for today.